show, the Dan Romano show right now, is brought to you by Dino Luzzi's Energy Drink. Ain't no motherfucker in this world can do it like me. Open up your eyes and insert a little rising. You don't have to love me, you don't have to like me. Got enough love in myself and my psyche. You should have the same in your brain nightly. If you wanna taste, bitch, you can fucking try me. If you wanna hate, bitch, you know where to find me. And if you go and hate this, you can fucking bite me. Welcome to the Dan Romano Show, brought to you by Dino Luzzi Energy Drink, one of the most soothing energy drinks on the market. Tonight, we will be broadcasting from Indie Music Studios. Special thanks to Chris Patty and Tiffany Castillo. I deeply appreciate their love and support, as well as all their professionality. Tonight's show, we will have the one and only Alan Cohen, our race car driver and winner of many races, and now the ambassador of our main sponsor, driving a fully wrapped Dino Luzzi energy drink Mustang race car in the SCCA Sports Car Club of America Hoosier Super Tour, returning from his last race after a serious accident, displaying amazing damage control after hitting a wall. Coming up later on the show is a couple of our special supporters and comedians. Wait and see. We will be right back with the one and only Alan Cohen, right after this. I just bought a headlight harness for Hendrix, and we love it. Great dog. Hi, Hendrix. I love this harness. Where'd you get it? Headlightharness.com. It's terrific. Headlight harness. The best way to show your dog you love them. Stay visible, stay safe. We are back with the Dan Romano Show. I am here with the one and only, the myth, the legend, the one and only, Alan Cohen, everybody. Glad to be back. Alan, one piece. how are you? I'm great, thank you. I am so amazed of what you went through on this last race. Accidents will happen. <laughs> you, and ironically, you said that on the last show, and I, I hope did. I hope it wasn't the Dan Romano show that jinxed you. No, absolutely not. It was. I'll call that a self-inflicted wound, no doubt. Oh my goodness! <laughs> but uh, tell tell me about the accident because I know my listeners are. Uh, I'll start from the beginning. Please, that would be awesome. So it was actually an amazing weekend. It was a very. If you remember, it was a very cold weekend. Yes. So basically. Cold tires don't work well on a cold racetrack. Okay. Cold tires, cold racetrack. And it's similar to rain. So basically, in that race, we, we practice on Thursday. Right. We qualify on Friday, and then Saturday afternoon we have what's called a qualifying race. Okay. I was doing maybe too well in the qualifying race. And, by the way, there were a lot of cars that crashed over that weekend. It was a really crazy weekend because the... You feel it. You feel the grip in the car. Right. And basically, my mistake was that I I went off on the curbing. Okay. So curbing is not good. You don't want to get on the curbing when it's either wet and obviously cold. I'm not used to being out in the track on really really cold days. It was about 36 degrees out. Um, we had a double yellow flag, which means there was a previous accident that we were all lined up behind each other going slow. We had about six laps of double yellow in which my tires will lose grip and they'll start to cool down. Right, okay. So at the beginning of a green flag, so after the double yellow, they start the race again. Right. There's a green flag or in a single line. Right. And basically going up the hill, uh, that's called the S's at Road Atlanta. Okay. And on the way up the hill, I came out a little wide onto the rumble strips, which are painted. And the car lost a little grip in the rear. I kind of corrected a little, maybe overcorrected, and the car re-gripped. Right, okay. And that's you what caught your balance. The spin. You but caught your grip. You're right. But it's very important to know as a race car driver, if, you're, if you, it, you put both feet in, brakes and clutch. Okay. And that's the most important thing you have to do. you got to hit the brakes, hit, hit the clutch, foot clutch, clutch takes it out of gear. Right. And go for the ride. And I was lucky enough to actually, it looks, you know, these are race cars. They're, they're tube chassis race cars. They're built a little differently. So okay. the, the, the body is just fiberglass. 
So if you hit anything, it will pretty much fall apart. <laughs> and that's what the car did. But no. it did its job. The right. bumper, the bumper spinning hit the wall. Right. The bumper got broken. The rest kind of follows, and that's what you see in the picture. How many times did you spin? Twice. And Twice. How, you Luckily, me, I want the truth. How scared were you? I wasn't scared at all. In fact, it's so quick; it happens fast. And the where the, the safety equipment in a race car, when you have the right safety equipment, makes a big difference. Of course, I did not even really move out of my seat. You're you're locked in. You right. got a harness over your shoulders. You have something around. You're like your on waist. that ride, like a roller coaster ride, where you can't move at all. More than a roller coaster ride, and. And we have even, we even have fire suppressant systems in the car. Right, yeah, so God you, forbid. You don't have to panic. And and uh, I spun, and I was absolutely fine. Sometimes they say you'll actually have a little pain po possibly the next day. Right, from but the that, impact. Right, but that would be more of a, a, a an impact that where you're stopped immediately. So a spin right. is different. When you hit a wall or you hit something head on, the G-forces on your body can be a lot higher. Right, okay. Mine was more of a spin, hitting the wall as I was spinning. It didn't really, it, it, most of the, the uh, bumper took, absorbed the impact. How much damage was to the car? <sighs> I don't know, I would say it, it, the bumper, uh, we're lucky. Let's My, is it minute? The, is it minute compared not, to it, an accident? Well, you'd like to think it was minute, but in racing, nothing's minute. Okay. But, but it basically, the good news is we were able to um, find the fabricator. Okay. And by the way, if any, if you want to know, so so we were in Road Atlanta, and 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 we were lucky because there's a town called Mooresville, North Carolina. Okay. It's known because uh, I would say eighty percent of the NASCAR teams are based out of uh, uh, Mooresville, North Carolina. Oh, okay. So it was on the way home, back to New York. Right. Uh, we were able to stop there, and everybody's incredibly friendly. I always say this. Racers, race, you know, that whole family is just an incredible. We'll always be there to help you. That's a beautiful thing. So when we got to Mooresville, we were able to find some parts. Uh, Port City is the chassis. We went to them. Right. They had everything we needed, and somebody local actually came by and brought a fabricator. And fabricator meaning he's the one who's going to actually take all these pieces and and match them back up. Oh, that's beautiful. So we should be good for our next event, which, which is? is in uh, April 8th, 9th, and 10th. What's the name of that race? Uh, it's uh, a Hoosier Super Tour at okay. VIR, Virginia. Oh, Virginia wow. Virginia International Raceway. And we actually have a second race car coming. Two now. A second Dino Luzzi race two car. Race, two race, two, yeah. two, two yeah. cars yeah. by Dino Luzzi. Be, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It is. You gotta love this guy, Dino. Yeah. Tell me the truth. He's amazing. And he so is absolutely amazing. Um, the second race car is a also a similar tube chassis. Right. Uh, it's a Monte Carlo body, and the race driver is female. That Ooh. is Jen Crapata. She's an up and coming race car driver. Oh, that's she's awesome! Incredibly. And so Dino supporting a guy and a girl in the race. Yes. That's a yes. beautiful yes. thing. Yes. Women rights, everybody. Women rights. Yeah. She's an incredible driver. She's younger. And uh, I run the GT1 class. Right. She runs in the GT2 class. Beautiful. And hopefully we'll bring her in. You know, Dino will have her here next time. That would be uh, all, That would be amazing. I hope everybody will watch. We'll have the and we'll both be live streaming. Now, now, are you going to be first and her second, or are you going to give her first and you second? <laughs> That's what I, I have, you ever, have, you first, anybody, have you ever. Have you ever given anybody? Have you ever given anybody a race? No. <laughs> would, never. If you never like. No. You never no. said, you know what? It's not something you, that's why I crashed. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. All that's right. That's how you crash, by not giving a, wanting to give away a race. But, but I think that but, would be amazing. Both of you crossing that finish line would be. with two Dino Luzzi. possible. Wow, that would be amazing. Yeah. And I think that's very yeah. possible. Yeah, and she's a great driver. She will be. Is she married? She be because there. I, you know, I might be looking. I'll let her know. All right, please. <laughs> do me the favor. But uh, guys, one of the best right here, Alan Cohen, one of the greatest in my opinion, one of the greatest, my, the only one that I've ever known, but one of the greatest <laughs> race car drivers that I've ever met. I am very proud that you are here. Thank you. And I wish you nothing but safe, health, happiness, and do me one favor on your next race. Don't crash. No. Win. Okay. Oh, win. win too, yes. That'd win, brother. Thank Guys, you so big much. round of applause. The one and only, Alan Cohen, everybody. And we will be right back after our sponsor.
right back here on the Dan Romano Show. And with us, we have the one and only, my boy, my brother, fellow, well, I'm not a comedian, but Mr. Keith Fitz, everybody! What's going on, everybody? Woo! What's the word, brother? Uh, pumpernickel. Pumpernickel. Yes, my it's my favorite bread. Yes, absolutely. Now, Keith, me and you, we have been friends for how long now? Uh, Beside the for too long. It, it's, it's been years. Um... Too many years. Uh, I think about two, three years now. Two or three years. And yeah. one thing I got to say about Keith Fitz, he has been, I'd say, about 95% of every show I've ever, I've ever produced. I've and only been 95% of anything. So. Yeah, well, that's that's, that's probably right. your highest grade in high school. I'm alcoholic, so therefore everything is 95%. Recovering, recovering. Yeah, right. yeah. I'm but recovering the, from my drink about an hour ago. But I was going to say that. You just yeah, took go. my only punchline <laughs> that I had. But that's what comedians do. They, they rob the punchline from you. That's right. Now, Keith. I have to ask you, what what gave you your love of comedy? What started you in this wonderful world of comedy? Okay, I'm going to go way back to when I was about seven, eight years old. So we're going back about 81 years? Yeah, about 81 years. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. I was about seven, eight years old, and I was thinking to myself, you know, I, I favored Rodney Dangerfield. Love Rodney. So I did a series of one-liners in my grandparents' basement, and I was I, I remember none of the jokes I ever did went over well, except for one. Which was as simple as this. It was like, if you don't like those jokes, if you think those jokes stink, you better smell my feet. That was the that was the one joke that went over. So what is the difference between back then and now? Well, what happened is back then I decided. He didn't get it. Yeah, yeah I got it. <laughs> I understand. You're calling no. me a hack. <laughs> okay. No, no, you're phenomenal. It's all right. No, it's cool. No, but go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Back then I decided I was going to go the music route instead of doing comedy. So I was a musician for many, many years, did uh, many bands. My last band uh, went out national with a band called NME. Uh, I remember you telling me that, yes. The actual music is still on Spotify. The album was called Prison Cell Philosophy. We went nationally. We were selling internationally. That's amazing. And then uh, I got uh, into a little bit of trouble with my guitar player at the time. He got sick. He got himself better. He moved down to uh, Vegas. and. Got healed. He had cancer. Okay. So I'm happy he's healed from that. God bless. But in the in the meantime, between bands, a f- close friend of mine actually took a, st- a, a show over at, uh, not a show, a class over at uh, Governor's Comedy Club. I know Governor's very well. And so he asked me to come down to his uh, graduation show. I did. I sat in the, stu- in the audience. And he walked over to me and said, Key, get up here and do this. Key, get up here and do this. You could do this. Come on. Get up here. You can do right. this. So he did it. He nudged me too far. And I said, you know what? F you. Book me. So I did, and I've been doing it ever since, since 2003. That's... Now, are you thankful for that guy, or do you hate him? I hate him to death. <laughs> now, He's still I... my best friend today, though. <laughs> well, that's a beautiful... I- I'm, I'm going to pick your brain now. I'm going to put you on the spot. Sure. Your favorite comedian to date right now. My favorite comedian to date right now. Well, I have a lot of them, but I will say one of my favorite ones that I can actually physically say I met would be uh, Gabriel Iglesias. Oh, oh, the big guy. The big guy. Yeah, yes. very nice. I'm not fat. I'm fluffy. That guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah very, very good. Very, very good. Very funny. I got to see him a few times, uh, and one time I got to meet him at, after one of the shows. Right. And uh, everybody who was walking up to him, any comedian that walked up to him, asked him for advice, and I did. I, I waited till the very end. I'm like, okay, I, I want to be able to have a chance to actually talk with him and, and, and pick his brain. Right. And he gave me a bit of advice that I still use today. What was that? Stay the hell away from comedy. Uh, I don't. <laughs> Well, uh, that that's actually that's actually uh, probably the best advice you can get. That's right. <laughs> now, if you if you had to take all the money you ever made in comedy, would you have a paycheck? I would have a maybe a piggy bank. A piggy bank, <laughs> a, a baby bank. Yeah. I think I'd fill a Dino Luzzi's can. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you fill it with the right thing, uh, uh, that coins. Is, uh, <laughs> maybe now, quarters if I was lucky. Now, my next question to you: the best place, one of your favorite places to do your comedy act. What what's your fa- what one of your favorite places? It doesn't have to be on Long Island. It could be anywhere. It could be a basement because but right now, especially with the COVID nineteen, right, it's done everywhere. I've seen it done in laundry mats. Well, I've performed up and down most of the East Coast, and I can say that I I can say I won't actually say I have favorite. I would say that I do have a most humbling experience though. Uh-huh. One of my one of my most humbling experiences I did. Uh, the Walter Reed Army Medical Hospital in Washington, D.C. Oh, wow. Okay. Re- returning troops from Afghanistan that were all wounded. And I got the chance to talk to a lot of the soldiers in right. there. And uh, a lot of them had some, some very heart-wrenching stories. Oh, sure. I can imagine. Uh, the, the most vivid picture in my head is the, the people in the, the three, three soldiers in the front row all sitting in wheelchairs, all with the same part of their leg cut off. Oh. 
And oh, absolutely, yeah. And every one of them had a different story of why. And it was just to me, it was just amazing that I got a chance to uh, the the chance to perform for them. Right. Get them to forget about life for a little while. Right. Get them to laugh. You know. Well, and, they and say it, they say laughter is the best medicine, and and I've been a big f uh, fan of that of that expression from Robin Williams. Right. Robin Williams has been saying that for years, but when he was alive, that uh, that. Uh, a good laugh is better than the medicine that they could give you. Now I wish they could. I wish that would work for my diabetes, but still. Well, <laughs> maybe if you don't have a, a, a chocolate bar in your hand when you're doing it, maybe you got a good shot. Really, I got to give up chocolate? <laughs> gotta Why? give it a ball, brother. <laughs> but um, I am very. We have a couple of things coming up with Mr. Key Fitz, everybody. Yes. And if I may, if you look behind me, uh, over here we got a great. Night of comedy. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is your birthday. That's my birthday party. Yes. 72? I'm going to be 73. Coming. 73? Yeah, 73. <laughs> no, no. How old are you? Are we allowed to I'm say your age? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to be 53 years old. He's a baby, everybody. 53 years old. He only looks like he's 75 because he's that's been it. hanging out with Dan Romano. And that's what happens when you when it when it uh, when it rubs off he's on you. Prematurely aging me. Yes. Which is the only thing prematurely now, I think I can do with him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now on this show we got some amazing talent. We got. We got Andrew Washington. Yes. Great magician. Great, great magician. We got Tugboat Manny, who Tugboat is, if you don't know who Tugboat Manny is, a grand slam in the comedy world. I mean, it's phenomenal. Yeah, I mean, I would recommend Tugboat to anybody. You got the one and only Keith Fitz, of course, the one and only, the birthday boy. Who's, who is that? That's the man. <laughs> you got Dan Romano, your host, which is me. Which is the man? You got Chris, Chris, Kristen, 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 Kristen Tinsley, who is a very, very funny, great comedian, and then you got one of my favorites, also Steve Kalba, who does impersonation of one of your favorites, Rodney Dangerfield. Rodney Dangerfield. This is a grand slam comedy night. Also, and this is that, I'm sorry. Before you finish that, I also want to make the announcement now. We have added two other people onto the. Uh, who to the who show. do we add to this? We are we. We actually added on Janelle Hamster, which is the I winner of the popular vote on yes. the Dan Romano Comedy yes. Contest. And my buddy and my friend, Chris Williamson. Love Chris. Chris Love Williamson them both. wanted to come down tonight, but he's actually at an event tonight uh, out of town. So Okay. Well, uh, Chris Williamson, a uh, uh, great comedian. Uh, Janelle won the popular vote on the Dan Romano Show uh, Comedy Contest. And these are two, I mean, two great additions to an unbelievable card. And you can get tickets. Tell them where they, they can get tickets on this. The tickets you can get on... I have to turn around and actually read the phone That's all right. It's all right. It's what we do here. Yes. The number, the number to the... the it's your number. The event. Right. Not my number. All right. 914-600-8391. Get your tickets now. $20 a ticket. Um... Everything, you know, the, the comedy night, the, the the birthday with Keith Fitz, come down. And where is it going to be? It's going to be held. 45 Montauk Highway, the collective. The collective consciousness. It is a, it's actually a, a physical retail shop that does uh, metaphysicals. Uh, it's a metaphysical shop. Okay. Which basically they have like crystals and things like that. And also some of Key's cutlery and Key's love jewelry is in there. Oh, that's awesome. A little self-promotion in there. Some stuff from mine and my wife's shop on right. my side as well. So this is going to be a great night. Well, I want everybody to visit Keith Fitz's shop and join us on March 26th. We will be right back on the Dan Romano Show. Keys Love Jewelry and Keys Cutlery. Keys Love Jewelry, stainless steel jewelry for men and women at affordable pricing, guaranteed to never tarnish or turn. And Keys Cutlery, a cut above the rest, specializing in hunting, camping, fantasy, everyday use, and self-defense equipment for your personal safety. Keys Love Jewelry and Keys Cutlery are both located inside Retro Relics at 2860 Middle Country Road, Lake Grove, New York. That's inside Retro Relics at 2860 Middle Country Road, Lake Grove, New York. Check their websites out at keyslovejewelry.com and keyscutlery.com. That's keyslovejewelry.com and keyscutlery.com. Got a question? Give them a call. 631-379-1781. That's 631-379-1781. We are back right here on the Dan Romano Show. And to my right, I got the one, the great one, a friend, producer, director, actor, and, and so much more, the one and only, Mr. Richard Kern, everybody. Thank you, Dan. 
Great to be back here. I love the new studio. I it's love it too. It's gonna be great. How do you feel being back in the hot seat of once was yours? I love it. I would love to be here more often. Well, maybe we can make <laughs> that happen in the future, my friend. If anybody doesn't know Richard Kern, Richard Kern started with me in the first creation of the original Rated R Dan Romano show. And that was back in the day with uh, a very good friend of ours, um, Mark the Animal Mendoza from Twisted Sister. That's when it started out as Pizza Talk. Yes, and Frankie D, which I hope they're, they're both doing great. I, I miss them, and I send them all my love. But that's how I became very, very good friends with this one and only guy right here, Richard Kern. Now, Richard, we're going to jump right into into uh, uh, what, what you're doing right now. You got an amazing movie with a killer lineup, a killer script, with some unbelievable talent behind you called Cairo Killer. Now, let's yes. get right into it. Tell me about Cairo Killer. Well, Cairo Killer, um, basically, I've been going to chiropractic for many years. Right. And they have these decompression machines, which reminds me of a modern-day torture chamber. Okay. Now, another thing I hate is people texting and driving, so I came up with the story. And uh, basically, it's about these chiropractors that people close to them, people that get killed by people texting and driving. So right. So vigilante. Um, people that have read my script, uh, some of them told me that it's written in the style of Alfred Hitchcock. Okay. Um, so there's a lot of twists and turns. So when you think something you know is going to happen and it twists and turns and you, you kind of got to guess and right. really watch the film. Um, and basically, you know, that's uh, pretty much it. I have a lot of great talent on it. Uh, Dan Romano. Very happy about that. He's played a great part in the film. He's uh, Sebastiano De Lorenzo. I love that name. Um, I'm actually, not only did I write the film, create it, uh, Bella Martini, uh, she helped me co-write it. She's a great writer. She helped me a lot with the writing. And she's also playing the key role of Natasha in the film, uh, which is an awesome part that she's playing. Now, if anybody, if I may, if anybody doesn't know who Bella Martini is, she is the beautiful one in the movie Streets 1 and Streets 2, who actually plays my sister in the award-winning film, The Streets, which you did direct. And you did an amazing job. And I was the actually way. a producer on Produced that. Producer so also for the film to win Best Picture. That always goes to the producer. So I'm yes, to well, that's a, that, also. that was an amazing award that you won. Me, Bella. Bella was also a producer on the film, so she's also a, an award-winning producer, and it's great to be an award winner. You well, know it as an actor. Uh, yes, I had the honor of winning the Best Actor of the Year award in that movie, which I am very truly blessed about that overall. But getting back to your film now. Can we go over some of the other people in your movie? Well, I do have Stafford Chavis. Uh, he's a great actor. He was also uh, part of the Big Philadelphia Eagles. Big football player, Eagles. too. Yep. Yeah, he Philadelphia Eagles, team. yeah. Uh, he's a great guy. He's playing one of the big parts of Dr. Boris. Uh, oh, I so can picture him playing a doctor. Oh, that's a monster yeah, right he's, there. He's, we have uh, Beautiful four guy. chiropractors. Katarina, I always... Much Michio. Up. Michio. Who she, actually plays my Gumata in that movie, but continue. And people know her from The Bartender and Sopranos. Yes. Um, she's actually playing another doctor. She plays Dr. Walsh. Yes. And then we have Scott McManus, who is also in the film. He plays Dr. Luca. I love Scott. Scott's one of my best friends. Great actor, great person. And uh, yes. Not only am I, uh, did I write the film, I have a lot of great talent in it. Um, you know, we have Frank Correa, we have... Frank's um, amazing, too, yes. Frank Osso. Frank Osso is playing one of the detectives. Frank Osso? Really? Yeah. Wow, I can't wait for this Frank movie. Frank Correa is playing uh, the um, sheriff. So we have a really good cast, really good crew. I can picture Frankie Boy as a, as a sheriff. That would be awesome. We're actually going to start... This is a killer, killer... If anybody doesn't know the acting world, you have got a A-list talent in the in the independent movie world that's coming up. And this is a lot of great people involved in this movie, and I'm very over. I'm very excited to be part of this project. I want to thank you for that. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're aboard. Thank he, you. He made me read for it. I never read, and now he makes me read. I can't believe it. Well, see, I like to be professional. No, I you make are sure very my actors, um, every actor in my film, uh, I do have them make a video, and then I do the directing with them with a live uh, phone call with them, so I could see their reactions. But, you know, I want to make sure my characters have the character down because otherwise it's going to look like crap and we don't well, want to... Look Cairo like Killer. It's going to be a hell of a movie, I can guarantee you. Twist and turns everywhere. Killer, unbelievable amount of talent involved in this. And uh, I have no doubt this is going to be another award-winning film under Mr. Richard Curry. From your mouth have, to God's ears. Well, I, I, I have a personal relationship with both of them. But, my um, mouth and God. So I think we have a... 
a killer a killer uh, way of doing this. Talking about killer ways of doing things, I know you're like going on about my movie, but yes. what about this big movie you were just on? I uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on, Dan. No, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really not Justina committed to talking about it, Justina and other people, it, right? I think a few people are involved with this. Yeah, uh, I don't uh, know how much we're allowed to say, but uh, I am right it's a now, very big holiday film. Well, it, it's kind of a secret right now, Richard. Oh, I, I can't say too much about it, but I am very blessed to be involved. Okay, but uh, I don't know. I don't think you, you should give a little more away, but, you Rich, know. Rich, if, if I tell you, then it's not a secret anymore. Well, that's true. So I got to, I gotta, you know, shut my mouth when I have to. Well, I'm sure when the time is right, you let the cat out of the Oh, head. absolutely. That cat that cat will meow all over the place. There you go. But, uh, yeah, I'm very excited about Cairo Killer. Can't wait to uh, start production next month on it. Not only do I have a great cast, but I also have a great crew. We have some drone shots happening. Beautiful. Uh, we have an accident scene going to be happening with our fire trucks N and now stuff. Now, besides Dan Romano, who is your biggest star in this movie? My biggest star? Well... I mean, if you go by big stars, I probably have to say Stafford Chavez is yes. probably one of the biggest names. Absolutely. Katarina. Um, Katarina Michio, you know, an amazing guy, beautiful, sexy, talented. She's got it all. And that's probably, you know. And Bella. Are, Bella, Bella, come on. Bella's, very, Bella's also a model. Yes, so Bella's my not model. Not only is Bella big in the acting world, but she's big in the modeling world, and she was on the cover of, um, I forget, the magazine. But. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the, yeah, I well, if anybody doesn't know, Bella Di Martini is one of the biggest sponsors of Dino Luzi Energy Drink. And we want to thank her and the wonderful, the one who played my daughter in the movie, The Streets 1 and 2, Sapphire. And if anybody doesn't know Sapphire is, you could see her on Jersey Shore drinking the Dino Luzi Energy Drink, which is my favorite drink in the world. But uh, please continue. We're also going to have that on set of Cairo Killer, so all the people that are involved with Cairo Killer will... Be able to get the energy boosted with the Dino Luzi energy drink. So it's right. going to be very exciting. Now, um, if anybody doesn't know about, uh, if I may really quick, if anybody sure. doesn't know about Dino Luzi energy drink, I want you to look up a stock called IFBC and put that in, uh, just look at it, examine it, because my opinion, it's something that I think everybody who, it's, a, it's what they call a penny stock right now, but if anybody wants to take a look at it, please feel free because I have a lot of, um, good positive feeling about the, the drink the stock the people behind it how many stores we're in we're in thousands of stores all over long island new york bronx connecticut we're getting we're getting huger and huger so if you want something when you see an um a dino luzi energy drink in a IFBC. store pick it up drink it the only way you're going to know the quality is to put it to your lips and put it against your favorite energy drink, I guarantee you, 9 out of 10 people, and you're always going to get that one that that might say, eh, but 9 out of 10 will say, this is my favorite drink going forward. And that's my guarantee. So pick up a can, put it to your mouth, and uh, you'll be your own judge. There you go. Yeah, my stepson's not big on energy drinks, but he loves the Dina Luzi drink. It's the best energy drink on the market. Best on the market. My friends, I am so proud to be with my brother, Mr. Richard Kern, a great actor, direct. I mean, I, if I tell you his credibility, we'll be here for an hour. But everybody, look out for the movie, Cairo Killer. And it's gonna, everything will be revealed in, in the next couple of weeks. And now, I can't wait. We do have a chance for people to come out, meet the people involved with the movie, meet our celebrities. Yes. Uh, we are having a fundraiser to help with the sizzle reel. Uh, we're going to have a f comedy show on April 14th. At Where the, is it? Um, the, uh, yeah. Uh, the one on Main Street. The one on Main Street. What is it, okay? It's about time it's on about Main Street. It's about time I remember where that How much are tickets? Too. How much are tickets? <laughs> uh, tickets are just $25 each. We're going to have a 50-50 raffle. Uh, you'll get to meet everybody involved with the project, the people in the movie, and also the people behind the scenes. It's going to be a great night. A lot of great comedians. Tickets? You can go to Eventbrite and get tickets, Killer Night of Comedy. We also have Mr. Key Fitz. He's going to be on the uh, show also. My headliner is Rich Walker. And we Rich also Walker. have, what's his name? Um, Williamson. Williamson. Chris Williamson. Chris Williamson. Great, great. That's him. We got to get key, Key's on there, right? Key is definitely on there. Well, guys, get your tickets now. Cairo Killer, Mr. Richard Kern, everybody. So proud to have him. Now, are you sure you're not allowed to let the cat out of the bag on that film you're in? No. You're sure? We'll talk about it another time on the Dan Romano Show. All right. We'll see you right here next week. Peace out, Stay world. tuned. I just bought a headlight harness for Hendrix, and we love it.
Great dog. Hi, Hendrix. I love this harness. Where'd you get it? Headlightharness.com. It's terrific. Headlight Harness, the best way to show your dog you love them. Stay visible, stay safe.